what's up y'all welcome or welcome back to another one of my videos i'm going to be showing y'all a mini haul of some things i got for a upcoming family gathering so basically i'm planning to do a lot of family games and i just want to show y'all what i put together really inexpensive items that i got from dollar tree i also went to ollie's as well so if you guys don't have a ollie's it's something like a um like a big lots um they got a lot of little knickknacks in there uh very inexpensive items and also if you guys have like um a bargain hunt then it's something like a bargain hunt as well so i'm going to get right into it also i'm gonna show y'all a couple of things i got from home depot that probably ain't got nothing to do with the party but i'm gonna show you anyway so the first thing i'm gonna show you is the things i got from home depot and this is the spackle that i got a couple of weeks ago um, I already showed you guys a video of me doing a spackle um, project. So basically, I did a abstract canvas art that I have up in my um, guest bathroom now. So I'm going to do two more, which they are right here. And the canvases are bigger this time around. And I got these particular ones from Ollie's, the store that I was talking about. And they were actually $4.99. And I got two of them. So this should be fun. And I hope they come out right this time. Because the first set, they came out okay. But I did some painting on top of the spackling. And I think that's what caused it to kind of not come out right so i did get that and the next thing i got from home depot is basically this little gun um i don't even know the name of it hold on <laughs> it's a composite chalk gun so basically you put the little chalk dispenser in here and i do have some chalk as well so basically this is the gun and you put the chalk in there and then you kind of seal up the um sink area or and i we got this for the uh bathtub area it's kind of like coming apart so we we're trying to get those back together so let me see if i can show you guys what is it you put in another bed probably back there and i have my daughter helping me show you guys um these products because it's a couple of bags and i don't feel like bending down and all this so this is what she's here for so yeah so this is the chalk that we got so basically if y'all have a home or apartment everybody knows about these so moving on we also got some stain blocking paint primer um this is semi-gloss and this is in white. So when we moved in our new place, even though they did paint, um, it's certain spots that, that they didn't touch. So we're gonna go around the house and touch up those spots with the white paint. And that's what we got this for. So now I'm moving on to, now I'm moving on to Ollie's. And this are uh, the first thing these are the first things i got in all this so basically we got these plastic kitty shovels because again i plan to um play a couple of games with the family and friends that's coming over and one game we're gonna play is um i don't know the name of these games i kind of just came up with them in my head and i also looked on youtube but I don't know like exact the exact name for them. So basically, we're gonna use the egg. We're gonna use the egg for this, right? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. We're gonna use the egg, and we're gonna kind of bend down and push the egg or whatever, and we're kind of gonna race to do so. So it's gonna be like two teams. So it's gonna be more of a relay race type thing. So this is for a part of that game. And then I'll show you guys the rest of it. 
All right, so the next thing, give me more toy stuff. Do we have any more toy stuff in Alice? No? Okay, so just look, give me the rest of that. Anyways, this is basically soaps that I got. This is basically soaps that I got for, of course, us to take baths in. Um, don't got nothing to do with the party. And I got these plastic spoons because we're going to also play the egg game. Whereas you're going to put the, the back of the spoon in your mouth and then you're going to basically do like a relay race against the next person and who who um run down to the end and don't drop their egg wins the game or whatever so these base these basic plastic spoons so the next thing i got from no this came from dollar tree so the next thing i got from ollie's is these furniture move sock protectors this is to me this is some um invention that came off the tv y'all know those little commercials when people um come up with these new inventions it usually be like as seen on tv but it don't say that here but basically these are to protect uh your floors from scratches and stop screeching when you put them on the bottom of chairs. So basically, they're like little socks for the chairs. <laughs> I thought they were cute. All right, so I got two packs of those for our chairs downstairs because at this point, our dining room tables are scratching up our chairs. I mean, our floors, and I'm, I'm not liking that. So the next thing that we purchased, which is my fiance's coloring book, she loves the adult coloring book, so this is the one she purchased. And this one was only $1.99 at Ollie's. Like I said, Ollie's have some really good prices for the items. So the next thing I got from Ollie's would be <laughs> this green tarp. So basically, People usually use this as a cover to cover something big, like cover the wood or cover the car or whatever. And we're going to use this for our adult uh, water slide. So basically, we're going to have this game where we, it's again, it's like a relay race. All the games is going to be more like a relay race we're gonna um race against each other we're gonna run slide on this slide we're gonna make it a slide a water slide so we're gonna put water down and then we're gonna put a little dish detergent down to make it slippery and then the adults going to run to one end take a shot run back to the next end and the next person go so this is gonna be a fun a fun game so this tarp, if y'all want to end up having a fun, fun, a family fun day, and you don't want to buy a, a water slide or whatever, you can just use a tarp and then put water and a little soap down. And this was six ninety nine at um, Ollie's. And this size, because the size is important, if you want adults to play, you definitely need a bigger tarp versus the kids and they got different sizes so the kids wouldn't need a big top like this but the adults would so i got two of these and it's a 10 by 14. so i did get two of those so i'm done with ollie's i'm done am, am i done with ollie's okay so i'm done with ollie's those are the things i got from there so the next thing I got will be come where well, everything else will be coming from Dollar Tree. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree. And of course, everybody know everything in Dollar Tree is a dollar. So I don't have to tell you how much it was. But um the first thing that I picked up was these finger shooters. And I have about four of them, I think. So basically we're gonna um have this game where 
we're gonna use these to shoot down empty um drink cans so basically if you're a good shooter you're gonna end up winning and we tested them out while we was in the store so they do shoot a long ways and they do have a little power behind them so you'll if you hit the can you will be able to knock it down so this really inexpensive a fun game to just come up with instead of just going out and buying like a nerf gun to try to shoot the cans down you can just buy these at dollar tree and there you go you got your gun so the next thing i have are these tennis rackets from dollar tree honestly y'all i can't remember what game we're gonna play with these do you remember what game you can talk <laughs> it was for the kids that like wanted to play with the tennis and the ball okay so it was something for the kids to do Okay, so basically, we did end up getting something actually for the kids to play. <laughs> so, in my mind, I was going out to get a lot of adult games, but I really wasn't thinking about all the kids that's going to be there. But anyways, these are going to be for the kids, and we also have some balls for them to play with the tennis rackets as well. So, the next thing is um my fiance picked these up she has these all over the house because she definitely is um very very organized um i'm not so <laughs> i'll leave that up to her and these really are cute so these basically are um removable hooks but they're wood grain and i never seen those you always see the little ugly white ones or and honestly, I've never seen black ones, but maybe it's some out there. But these are wood grain, and these are super cute. So, she got four of those. And the next thing that I got would, from Dollar Tree, and this set is so cute, y'all. Um, I wouldn't sleep on Dollar Tree. I really wouldn't. A lot of people don't really think Dollar Tree has a lot in there. A, well a lot of cheap stuff in there but you can find some really good items in dollar tree so basically i got this marble towel set and this one says imagine and this one says dream it is a kitchen towel set and this um this men this oven men it's the same design and it says inspire and then I also got these pie holders. It comes in two. Same design. And it says Inspire. So this set actually goes with my kitchen floor. So this would be super cute. And I forgot I had this. And I need to put it in the kitchen now. So what else? And the next thing I got was some... Party plastic table covers. So again, we are having a family get together, not this weekend, but the following weekend. And um, we just went out to get some things for the party. And we picked some of these up because it does match our outside decor patio set. And just the whole decor in itself, it matches. So we got two of those for the tables. And the next thing I got is this whoopee cushion so everybody knows what a whoopee cushion is so basically i figured the kids could play musical chairs but have the whoopee cushion in the musical chairs which is gonna be even more fun and funny that the person that gets to sit down gets to make that um that fart noise so that should be fun for the kids so, the next thing I purchased is bubbles. Um, I only got one of these. I only got one of these. Okay, so I only got one. Um, so, with the bubbles, we decided to play the game 
um when you so basically when you and again y'all i don't know the names of these games <laughs> some of these games we made up some of them we got from youtube and um so basically with the bubbles we're gonna you're gonna blow your bubble and you're gonna try to keep your bubble from hitting the ground by blowing it as it floats in the air and we're gonna have like a hula hoop or something real round and big enough for the bubble to go through so that's going to be a hard game but it's going to be fun so basically you're going to try to get your bubble in down i guess down away um and then try to get it into the hula hoop circle without it popping so that should be fun that should be interesting because it sounds like it's going to be hard so the next thing that we picked up was these raffle tickets. So basically, we're going to have a raffle ticket for a big prize, like a grand prize. And all the um, all the proceed, uh, proceeds that we get from the raffle ticket is going to go to something special. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's going to be for someone and for something special. So this should be fun. It should be like Chuck e. Cheese. We already came up with something. Uh, so what's the next one? <laughs> so this is just basically a checkerboard game. The pieces are fairly big. They're not the normal size. So I know how to play checkers. I love playing checkers. So I figured we set up a checkers table and some two people get to play. Checkers is always fun. All right, so what's the next thing? Okay, so I got several of these. Are you ready? I need more of these. So I have several of these. So basically, this game is going to be... Um, Two people can only play this game. So, again, we're going to have two groups all day. We're going to have two groups. And at the end, we're going to tally up. We're going to have the red team and we're going to have the purple team. And then we're going to have two people to unravel these with just their hands swirling like this. And whoever unravels it first wins. So, this should be interesting. And... Whoever gets to play better have some strong arms. So, the next thing I purchased was some sleeping masks. Um, I broke my sleeping mask. I sleep with a sleeping mask because in the morning time when the sun comes out, um, yeah, when the sun rises, it rises right there in my bedroom in front of my face and I cannot sleep and I like to get my last hour or two of sleep and then I can't because the sun is right there dead in my face so I needed to buy more sleeping masks and I bought like two or three so this is just one of them and this is the design it's really pretty and the black of it not black of it <laughs> the back of it is black so, yeah, and it won't get dirty as fast. So, I don't know where the rest of them at. She's not pulling them out. So, um, can you get the rest of them so I can see? Where the rest of them at? You got a whole bag over here. So, the next game will be the clinics game. So, again, only two people can play this game. So, basically... You're going to pull, 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 pull the Kleenex. Whoever get the Kleenex box completely empty first wins. So, it is about, it's 148 Kleenex in these boxes. And that's going to be tough. Again, this is another game where you're going to have to have some strong arms in order to win this game. So, that's another game for us to play doing our family get together and this is the other mask that i was telling you guys about the sleeping mask this is cute too and again this one is black on the back as well 
So I really, really need these. So the next thing I purchased was some mixing spoons. So basically um, with this game, it's going to be um, some water bottles and we're going to put like um, what's the name of those markers? Just some little markers in the water bottles. And the water bottle is going to be halfway filled up. And you're basically going to hit the markers down to, uh, to try to make the uh, markers stick in the water bottle. If that makes sense. Like the, I don't know the name of the game. I hope y'all not confused. Okay, so let me say it again. With the spoons, you're going to have a spoon here and a spoon here. And you're going to have a line of water bottles halfway filled up with water. And then it's going to be markers inside the water bottle. And basically, you're going to hit the marker trying to make the marker stick inside the water bottle and not pop back out. It's not an easy game, but it's really fun. So yeah, this is going to be another game for the family to play. All right, so the next thing I purchased was these plastic straws. Um, what did we get the plastic straws for? I knew it was a game. Oh, I do remember. Okay, so basically, and we have to buy some ice trays. So basically, with this game, you're going to need ice trays. You're going to need some type of beverage, whether it's liquor or just regular um, drinks or beer or whatever you know if kids playing then you just have regular soda so you're going to fill the ice trays up with whatever beverage you guys are going to use and then you're going to have them all lined up and then the um the participants are going to be lined up with their straw in their hand so basically they're going to sip out all the trays with sip all the beverage out of all the trays and then you're going to move on to the next person. So it's going to be a line of a line of participants. And whichever sides clear out all the ice trays, that's what side wins. So this is going to be fun, especially if it's all adults. And you guys are like, y'all have adult drinks in the ice trays. That's going to be fun. So what's next? So the next thing we purchased were and we got these from walmart right so we got these bag of skills from walmart and i have to get another bag because i got the wrong bag um yeah who knew the invisible what was it, it all white. The, who knew the all white skittles was actually all white anyways so with this game um, what's this game? <laughs> like, I keep forgetting. I need to write this um, down. This game is like we we take out all the Skittles and we try to separate them or either another game for it that they also said was that they will have all these different kinds of Skittles and then say it's just all these different kinds of Skittles and then it's like one color that's in the Skittle and then you have to find it. Mm, I don't remember saying that. Like, it's like a bowl of Skittles, and then it's like one color. All the colors are in there. Did we say we was going to play that? I think. I think. What did you say at first? That's what I said. The first game. Um. Y'all, honestly, I can't remember exactly what game we're playing with the Skittles, but... If I remember, then I'll leave it down below. Kind of explain what the game is going to be. But I really don't remember right now. So, what's the next thing I got? Alright. Is that all the game stuff? Yeah, I'm hot. So, these are the balls that we got for the tennis rackets. So, we did purchase the little balls for the tennis racket. And this has nothing to do with the game, but we got some fingernail polish remover um, from Dollar Tree. Fingernail polish remover. Um, so, that is all the games that we, all the games and all the material we need for our games. But I did also get a lot of um, 
fall items. I did get a lot of fall items that I kind of want to decorate the outside of my home once fall comes. And I thought they were so cute. So they have a lot of glitter on them. So I'm going to kind of show you guys and I'm going to kind of put them away quick. So this is a red leaf and it has like orange glitter. Is that orange? It looks like orange. So it has orange or red glitter on the outsides of it. This is really pretty. I think I'm going to put this on my door. And I also have a orange one as well. It's so pretty. And it has orange glitter. Yeah, that's orange on this one as well. So this one has orange glitter as well. And these are going to be cute on the outside of my door. My front door. And so... It's a lot of glitter. So the next things I got are some flowers. So <laughs> I was thinking about just putting these. These are the flowers. And I have a lot of these. If you could pass them to me. I just want these right now. So, I'm trying to get them together, y'all. My assistant, she she don't like the glitter either, apparently. Can I get those? You can put those out your hand so you can pick up the other stuff. Okay, so I have, a, I have more of these. So, this is basically what they look like, though. And these are so pretty. So... I decided instead of like putting them inside the house in like a vase or whatever, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put them in my bush where well, I have one, two, three, four. I have about four bushes lined up in the front of my house. So I'm going to put them throughout the four bushes in the front of my house. So this is going to be cute when I do that. And let's see, I have more. I have, oh, I have more, and these are all glitter, y'all. Like, <laughs> the glitter is going to be everywhere once I take them back out. Well, let me see if I can show you guys. I hope the glitter is showing up the way I want it to. But, yeah, this is all, like, a rusty orange glitter color. And I actually have this glitter in my collection because I have, like, a collection of glitter. Like, matter of fact, I know for a fact I have this. Because I used to sell glitters, cosmetic glitters, and I know I still have this color. <laughs> Which is so funny. But, yeah. This is what I have. Let me see. So, these are the glitters I have. I'm not going to show the company that I got my glitters from. <laughs> See, it matches. It's that dark orange, and then it has some um, gold in it, and this is like a regular orange glitter, which is almost gone. So yeah, I have these. But anywho, these are gonna be cute. I'm gonna put these in the bushes as well with the other ones, and you can put that back in a bag. You're going to have to hold it and do that. All right, so I got more, y'all. So these are the gold ones. These are cute, too. So they're the same design, but there's a different color. This is more of a gold. I hope you guys can see the glitter in it. So the other things that I have is like garland. But it's more of a fall garland. So basically, this is what it looks like. And they have some glitter pieces throughout it as well. Glitter leaves. The same colors. It's the gold and the orange. And then some regular fall leaves. And this is going to be so pretty. 
I'm not sure why I'm going to put the garlic in there yet. But once I do, I'm going to take, take a picture of it. And then I'm going to have it on my Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. So the last thing that I got was these pumpkins. I wasn't sure if I should get the pumpkins. But these were so cute. They're like orange, but they have like a um, holographic layer over the top of it. I hope you guys can see it. It's so pretty. So these two would be like on my sitting on the end of my porches. My porches, my porch. Mm -hmm. They would be sitting on the end of my porch. So that's going to be so cute during the fall. Fall is my favorite season. Like it's not too hot. It's not too cold because I hate being cold. It's like just right. So that is everything that I got. That's everything, right? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So that's everything I got for the party and also for some things we needed around the house and some fall decor from Dollar Tree. Y'all better go look up Dollar Tree and not count Dollar Tree out just because they're a dollar because the things that I got are super cute and they probably would have cost me way more like at home goods, you know? So again, that's all I have for this haul. And if you guys like what you saw and you want to see more hauls and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and leave your comments down below if you have any questions. And you just want to talk to me or whatever, leave your comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. And my daughter want to make an appearance because she did help out. So we will see you guys later.